Hello, nerd fighters. Um, it's Thursday. Yay! I only have one class tomorrow. It's always exciting. Um, well, this week we're reviewing books, so, of course, I've been thinking about which book I should review, and that's really hard because I like lots of books. I spent a lot of time thinking about what book I should review, and some of my favorites came to my mind immediately. I'm like, oh, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, uh, The Road, Blood Meridian, 1984. Of course, I love that book. <laughs> um, Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. There are so many. I just, I love a lot of them. But then I finally decided on Bloodsucking Fiends by Christopher Moore because I don't know how many people might have read that or not and I figured it was a bit of a less known book, I guess. Yeah, so I decided to share the awesome and view one of my favorite books that none of my friends had ever read before me and I, so I got to introduce all of them to this book and... Now I can introduce all of you to this book. I discovered the book Bloodsucking Fiends not too long ago, even though it came out in the 90s, I think. I was just going through the bookstore and I saw the sequel sequel to the book, and I'm like, oh, that book looks really good. And I read the back and I'm like, oh, that doesn't sound like the first book in a series, it sounds like a sequel. So then, you know, I figure out that there are two books before it, so I buy the first one, and it was really good. I really, really liked it. I immediately went out and bought the, uh, the next two books in the series. And, yeah, Christopher Moore is now one of my favorite authors. He's really, really funny. I like him a lot. On the story, it's about... Now, this is going to sound a bit cliched, so... Don't give up on me yet. <laughs> it's about a girl who gets kind of attacked and turned into a vampire... And she's, like, really, really sexy. She's, like, long, red hair. And then she she's like, oh, no, what am I going to do? I can't go out during the daytime. I need someone to pay my rent and stuff when I can't go out during the daytime because I'll burn to death, which will suck a lot and smell very bad. The sequel is called You Suck, A Love Story. Um, and then the third one's called Bite Me, A Love Story. It's really, really funny, and the characters are just... The characters are so ridiculous. There's a fun scene that really stuck out to me in the first book, the book that I'm kind of supposed to be reviewing, but I'm, I've am i ended up just reviewing the other two a bit as well. Um, there's a scene where the main character, the girl who got turned into a vampire, her name is Jody, by the way, she is just thinking about how much she's going to miss potatoes and french fries. Because, you know, she's Irish, so she has to have potatoes. She can't go without potatoes. She just doesn't know what she's going to do. So she actually has her minion, minion, C. Thomas Flood, the writer, who, well, the wannabe writer. It's more like wannabe. He, she gets him to sit in front of her and eat french fries and she just watches him eat french fries and she's like oh god i love french fries potatoes are so great i'm irish i need potatoes it's just really funny that's the kind of humor that's in this book it's really just it, the whole book is just making fun of itself it's wonderful it's wonderfully wonderful so there's my book review and remember don't forget to be awesome bye see everyone next week